this is the second adventure in the world of JavaScript. This lesson is intended for old guys like me who were used to be a C, C++ or Java programmers during their time. And, uh, and a window to how JavaScript world works. Okay, let us begin. Line one is an import statement saying import the class component one, instantiate an object from that component, and invoke the F1 method. The import is followed by the from, then notice carefully the dot is slash, dot slash. And Unix speak and Unix way of referencing things, dot slash is to indicate that this file or folder is in the current directory. It is in the relative current location. This is what is meant by dot slash. It is in the current location. And if we exit, indeed we can see that it is there. App 2. It is beside the main app, the TS. It has removed the JavaScript there. So it needed app to the TS. It is understood that this is TS. And because it needed that, when we compile and when we transpile main app the TS, because it needed app two, and it, I mean it is referencing app two in the source code, it will in effect also transpile app to that TS. We only transpile main.ts, yes, but in effect, app2 gets also transpiled. Right. Let us go back. If you view um, a lot of source codes in Angular, you will notice that another kind, another variant of this import, for example, it has changed this to component tree. is this one. Notice now that, notice now that in app tree, app tree is no longer preceded by a dot less unlike app two. App tree is just app three, not preceded by path indicator, just as, just, just as dot slash. And so the question now becomes, where does it find app three? Where does it look for that guy? Well, the answer is, the answer is that Node.js has certain hard-coded knowledge of where to look for things. It has hard-coded understanding that it will look for um, imported components in the node modules directory of the current directory. It will look for stuff, reusable stuff there. And there is no node modules in our current directory. So let us create node modules, modules with S. That is a hard coded understanding by the node interpreter that it will look there for certain things. The this node interpreter is is now um it's a binary code. You cannot open this in notepad. You cannot the, the closest you can do is examine this hexadecimal There is in hex, okay.
because node interpreter is a compiled language it is the one that runs our JavaScript code the source code of node is in C++ and that is where you can gain more understanding of what node is doing and where it looks for certain components but um, I think we can however use the strings command if ever the because there are there are scattered string fragments even in binary compiled code the strings section there uh, variable namings hard-coded um, strings constants persist even in binary executable so let us try to find if node modules can be found and indeed it is here so that is one of the evidence that node in js source code looks for in this folder here well if if you don't like that like if you want node.js to find it in a different naming like for example your family name here then all you need to do is uh, recompile the c++ source code of node recompile that after changing the c++ source code and and change it here in the source code and then you will have your name there node.js will look into the whatever location you want you want it to look for but well you will have your own private version of node interpreter but just gave an idea that that is what it is okay let us go back to the main truck so now it is trying to import component tree from app tree and let us try to create app tree dot ts inside node modules there so let us try to transpile Unexpected token import. There. I guess we're just uh, that was a JavaScript part again uh, I will delete all the GS and start again so the main app that TS required app 2 and app 3 so transpiling this should also result in app to having a transpile equivalent how about in the app 3 in node modules 
surprisingly enough, up three that ds didn't have didn't get transpiled on the fly. Um, so what happened if we run the main app.js now is that we have an error. So let us try to transpile manually app tree. there and run again the main app and it succeed so we have a difference in in behavior here app 2 seems to be transpiled because it was needed Uh, in the import, but up up tree uh, did not have the same benefit of automatic transpile. Um, so we had to manually do it, and it, everything works after that. Okay, so if you uh, view a lot of Node.js codes and see the insides of the Node modules folder you would not see actually files inside the node modules folder you don't you want you don't you will not see files there but instead you will see subfolders so um let us try to create a subfolder app tree and move app tree.js there So now they have been moved into the app tree subfolder inside the directory, subdirectory. Let us try to run again the, and it was not able to find correctly the, the app tree. Something is, it's complaining that it could not find there. So, the trick here is that in addition to the node modules being one of the atom atomic constant, it's a constant name of something that Node.js inherently knows where to look for things. Now that we move the files in a subfolder app tree, Node.js interpreter also uses another constant where to look for things and that constant is if we rename the app3.js to index.js there then everything would work as expected to to highlight um, first, the node modules is a constant, something that the node interpreter inherently knows where to look for subfolders, for look for components. And inside component directories such as app3, the node interpreter automatically reads, finds for the presence of index.js. So that's that and even let us let us extend it further in other in in common um, node modules node.js modules it even um, it has usually a src directory and then move the index.js there as component 3.js There, and we don't need the up three that is by the way here, and then the index that js still should remain inside here, and I will paste this snippet from an express module that I take a look a while ago, and 
we change this to src and this one is component tree there so to summarize here inside the app tree folder node looks for index.js we can declare the component directly inside index.js but a better organization is to actually use this one module.exports and then subsequently require folder inside the src here the component tree uh, component this one so now we we gain a, a, a better organization in this manner let's try to run and still we successfully found an instantiated component tree in this um, way of organizing our component so that's it this is um this is the way how I try to understand these things, um, how Node.js works, how modules, how the node modules is. This is just a surface, I think, and a lot of things can still be understood here and learned. I have the opinion that TypeScript is a better language to learn than JavaScript. JavaScript as I see it, it's now turning into like an assembly language of the web, just like how C, C++ gets converted into assembly. Today, what I see is that TypeScript is the main language to work on because it is readable, it has types, it has classes, and then a transpilation phase happen converting that to JavaScript and it is the JavaScript that gets run by an interpreter usually node you will argue that JavaScript has has a lot of good things coming in the newer ECMA standards if I'm not wrong it has classes as well maybe maybe types in the ECMA standards but it's very obvious to see that whatever is happening in the ICMA standard is, is dictated a lot by, by TypeScript. So it is better ahead now today to program in TypeScript because TypeScript, as I see it, dictates a lot of what is going to happen to JavaScript. That's my personal opinion, and that's all for now and to until the next lesson. Thank you.